We're a little over 24 hours away from the critical launch of Boeing Starliner spacecraft. The program is years behind schedule. The crew capsule is sitting atop an Atlas V rocket at Cape Canaveral in Florida. But mission managers say all systems are now go. ABC's Faith Abube is at Cape Canaveral. Tonight, after years of delays, Boeing Starliner spacecraft finally counting down to its much anticipated liftoff at Cape Canaveral. The capsule rolling onto the launch pad this weekend, expected to blast off Monday night. It's Boeing's first ever crewed mission with two of NASA's most experienced astronauts on board, Commander Butch Wilmore and pilot Sonny Williams. This is a test pilot's dream. Oh, it's really exciting. We're actually, uh, you know, getting the opportunity to put hands on the sticks and fly the spacecraft. Yeah. It's shocking that in the Lord's providence and all this works together, then here we are mm -hmm. having this opportunity. The mission is a test drive for the Starliner, which has been grounded by technical problems, while its competitor, the SpaceX Dragon, has launched dozens of times. But a successful mission for Boeing tomorrow will allow the Starliner to be certified for long-term NASA crewed flights to the International Space Station. The capsules launch part of NASA's commercial crew program. Astronaut Victor Glover telling us this is the most important important mission for the space agency right now. There's always a fear of failure. We don't, we, we don't naturally belong in space and these missions are complicated, but we have the right team and we have the right hardware and software to go execute the mission. And Lindsay, if all goes well tomorrow, about 26 hours after liftoff, the Starliner will catch up with the International Space Station, which is traveling at about 17,500 miles per hour. Lindsay. Lots of fingers crossed there, Faith. Thank you.